Happy New Year everyone! It's me Yishan Karbanda. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you may all know, everyone has some New Year's resolution at the beginning of the year. Something related to health is usually on their New Year's resolution list. Well, luckily for you, if you have something related to health, Fitbit Sense is here to help you out with that. The Fitbit Sense just rolled out and it's basically the, a trip short to the doctor office. It has everything right at your wrist, whether it's EDA scanning, ECG scanning, GPS tracking, cardio tracking, mild run to workouts anything related to health this watch has it all and it's arguably one of the best health smart watches out there now you might be wondering such good of a smart watch it must be having so many features right right that is correct this watch has a plethora amount of features and it might take you a lot of time to figure out on your own well luckily in this video I'm going to show you all these features from the get go from the box with that being said let's just jump onto the watch and see what it has Alright guys, so this is the Fitbit Sense and this is this is not actually the base package that you will receive if you pay up to $329 but rather this is if you buy it from like Costco or some other retail store for like a slightly higher price you'll get some additional stuff in this box for example this package includes the Fitbit Sense obviously and this, an additional sports band but if you buy the $329 one from wherever you'll only get the Fitbit Sense so let's just open up this main box and let's pull out these two tabs right here. And then we have two compartments. One right here is the Fitbit Sense. And I was stating earlier, this is the package that you'll receive if you pay $329, which only includes the Fitbit Sense with the regular band attached to it. Let's put this right here. Now let, let me just show you what this right here is. This is an additional sports band. This you can actually buy on separately from the Fitbit store or somewhere else from $20 to $30. But it's cool that it comes with this. It conveniently comes from this. But it might be slightly higher than $329. This base package is $329. So I'll just put these two things aside. Alright, this is the Fitbit Sense that we've all been waiting for. This has been released two months ago from the date of this recording. And this Fitbit has the most advanced technology in any Fitbit ever produced. For example, it has ECG scan, EDA scanning, health monitor, sleep tracking, you know, all the good stuff that you can get in a smartwatch. But it actually is an all-rounder, or if you want to call it a jack of all trades. It has a built-in GPS, you can play music wirelessly, although you might need to have like a premium subscription for certain things. So let's just start by unboxing this. So all you have to do is slowly pull this out. So I'll just put this aside. And we have like our classic Fitbit box. It looks like a, you're opening a book. So let's just open this. So we got our extra brand right here in case you want to replace this. In case the one that's given with the watch is small. Let's put this aside. And then we got our charger. It's magnetic. Unfortunately not wireless. And as you can see right here, if you pull this tab back, it says new to Fitbit, download the Fitbit app, which I'll also later show in the video how you can download it and set it. So now let's look at the main thing, the watch. Let's pull it out. It's currently, the watch is currently on. So as you can see, there's like a green light, which is activating the sensor. So it has the infinity loop copying what how Apple has right here. So it has an extra piece of band. And um, let's just quickly open this up. Here's the watch. So if you want to change this, for example, let me show you how you can replace the band. Now I'm holding the watch like this. So now the way to remove the band is actually very easy. So you don't want to pull on this band, otherwise you'll break them. All you actually have to do is just locate these two buttons right here. They're on the edges of the watch. And then what you want to do is just slightly press on them and they'll easily come off. And then you can replace them. So for example, I want to replace this with the additional one, which is slightly longer. All you have to do is locate the edge of the band and then slightly just slide it right in and you'll hear a click. And then you can do that for the other one. Boom, as simple as that. So now let's talk about one more thing about this watch before we jump into the actual main features of it. So let's talk about the charging, how you charge it. So it comes with a proprietary Fitbit charger. Unfortunately, it does not have wireless charging compatibility, but it still has magnetic charging. So all you have to do to charge it, it's very simple. The way to do that is just simply put it right here and boom, now it's aligned and it's connected. So, and you just want to plug this into like a computer or like a power bank. So let's now talk about the battery. It's a great segue to go into the battery section. So the battery of this is the best. 
This is one of the best things about the watch. The watch can actually last for six days without a charge. With one charge, the battery can last with six days. Well, there's a catch to that. Six days meaning if you don't have it on constant screen display. I'll show you what that means later on the, in the video. Rather, if the six days battery life, if you have that feature off, so it's only if you like look at the watch, then the screen will turn on. If you have it all the time on, this that feature, that screen thing on, it will only last two days. But with, that's pretty good actually. Can you imagine 40 hours continuously? And um, yeah, and the battery charging usually takes around anywhere from two to three hours, which is excellent, right? For almost one week, you can charge the entire device in six to two to three hours. That's amazing. Okay, so now let's talk about the screen size and the display. So AMOLED display size, it, like the previous version of the Fitbit, like Fitbit wears up with, and then it's like the Apple Watch. It has a 1.6 diagonal inch screen. The good thing and what I like about this, it has rounded corners. Unfortunately, this watch does not have any physical buttons. Rather, it has this inductive button right here where you have to like press on it and give you that feedback and which will make you feel like you're pressing a button and the worst part is if you have suppose people put on the watch right the button is actually underneath the area where your finger will go so like you have to actually like dig in and click on the button and it doesn't have any other buttons that's the only button on this watch but it has uh, these metal bezels around it which comes really in handy when you're doing the ecg and eda scanning to monitor your stress level and um, your health condition all right, so now on the sides, we have stainless steel, and then um, we got uh, this entire border is stainless steel with the metal bezels being aluminum. So, and then we on the back, we have a million sensors. I don't want to talk about them each separately as they have a bunch of functionality such as sleep tracking, your EDA scanning, all that good stuff. So I just want to say in general, there's a lot of features and a lot of sensors on this watch. It's like a medical watch. It has everything that you do at a doctor's visit. That being said, I do not recommend that you stop with to the doctors this just gives you data which you find at the doctors but that this is just to supplement the data that you'll get at the doctors you actually want to follow your doctors whatever your medical equipment is before you trust this because these watches are constantly evolving and they're not accurate and now on the side we have a I just talked about we have an inductive button right here which gives haptic sense feedback and on this side we have our speaker and our microphone which comes in handy if you're like taking calls the thing is we can actually use a microphone because as you may know that this Fitbit sense comes with Alexa built-in and Google Assistant built-in and you can actually use the assistant to do like normal tasks like start a timer, message someone. Well, the messaging, you actually need an Android device to message people back. But if you have an iOS device, you can actually like use this device to like only receive messages, not reply. So you can use the Alexa to do all the normal stuff. Like you can even control your smart home if you have smart home devices with this watch right at your wrist. You can tell Alexa to play music. You know how everything Alexa can do besides making calls as of now. This watch is also water resistant up to 50 meters basically you'll be good if you go out with this for swimming showering any sort of water related activity besides scuba diving you'll be good with this watch all those features and all the description about the watch exterior let's actually talk about what the watch actually has inside with the features so as i powered it off earlier to replace the bands let me power it on all you have to do to power it on is press and hold this haptic button right here for like at least five seconds and it's gonna give you a vibration, have to touch, and then it'll turn on, it'll display the Fitbit logo. Give it like 10 to 15 seconds, it's gonna power it on. All right, so now the watch is powered on, and this is the landing screen, because this is my home screen. You can actually change this within the Fitbit app. So right now, this I have a passcode turned on, because you can actually turn on like a password in case that your device gets stolen, and if you have like credit cards or like any sort of personal information stored in here, this has a good way of locking it. So let me just quickly enter my password in here. So at our landing page, we got our home page, and then if you swipe left, Yes, swipe left. We have this. So, so right now I was on sleep mode. Basically, is basically in sleep mode when you're sleeping, you don't want to get disturbed. Right here is our do not disturb. It will silence any calls. So let's turn off do not disturb. We'll remove any incoming notifications. Silence them. Here is the sleep mode. Would we'll basically like make the watch. You can't like really do much on the watch because you're like on sleep mode. And then here is our brightness capability in regards to the lighting. It gets really really bright when you're in high bright mode and gets low and when there's like dull and then so here we have our clock so always on display basically as i was talking about earlier it's always going to be on display regardless of whether you're using it or not let's turn that off 
Next we have our screen wig. Basically, let's let me just put the swatch on my wrist. So let me show you what the screen to wake is. So if I lift my hand up, as you can see, the watch will turn on. Kind of like how your phones are these days, where you lift the phone up, the screen will turn on. So like, this is a good, good feature. So, if, so now let's see. Um, next, is our volume, classic, increase, decrease. Not much going on there. So let's again swipe right. And then this is actually a home screen or clock face that we can actually change, which I'll show you later in the video. I'll show you like set up the watch in this fitted app, which basically is the main gears, brains behind the watch. Otherwise, you can't actually use the watch if you don't have app set up. So like, let's swipe right now. And now we have our apps. So oh, we have the Today app, which basically talks about the fitness, where we are. And then we have our exercise app right here. Here's our Find My Phone. If you misplace your phone somewhere, you can do this. And the Alexa Assistant, you want to say anything to Alexa. You can say what you want to do it. So you can say, try asking Alexa. Remind me to go for a jog at 1 p.m. Set a timer for 20 minutes. All that stuff. So if you want to go back, all you have to do is swipe right and then let's swipe left to go into the more apps so we have our eda scan which i'll show you later we have our alarms so if you want to set an alarm and boom keep it on and then we're done let's see what the smart wake is if you have sleep cycle enabled basically it's going to wake you up anytime between 11 49 a.m and 12 19 a.m this is the smart wake we have for every day you know which days you want it on remove done let's click on done and then we have our timer just set a timer here is our settings app let's talk a little about this so we have the main settings of the watch well as i told you that you get the main brains behind the watch is in the phone right well you can actually control some of the settings right here on your watch on the go let's see so we got the brightness so i'm on dim right now to conserve battery we have the screen wakening basically what i showed you earlier screen timeout basically if you're not using the watch for more than 10 seconds it will stop so let's just change that for like 45 seconds for the ease of the video recording always on display which i just showed you kind of takes up a lot of battery next we're gonna go back to vibration and audio so light basically less vibration conserves more battery microphone it's a microphone you want to have it on if you want it for like alexa and then we have our Bluetooth. You to, so I have my AirPods paired up. So if I want, I can wirelessly listen to music. You can add a device by clicking on Manage Device, and then it'll be searching for one. Then go back, and then we can set up goal reminders. So for example, if you want to like have thirty thousand steps per day, right, and you have like twenty five thousand steps done and five thousand steps left, like Fitbit will constantly remind you, hey user, you have five thousand steps left. You can get, achieve this goal. I actually have that. On. it's a good feature quiet mode is basically like do not disturb sleep mode basically can't do much if you're sleeping right schedule the mode you can have your own turn off notifications for Alexa and then now we have shortcuts shortcuts is really cool so you can actually do a bunch of stuff so if you do press and hold right what I have right now if I do press and hold it's gonna go back to the control center if you want to go back you can swipe right and you can actually set it for a bunch of stuff like if you click on the top left it's going to do music top right it's going to do quick settings bottom left alexa bottom right payments and about the sense about basically about the watch if you want to do factory set you just click on that and do there and i shut it down which i showed it out earlier right when i was replacing the man so you want to that's a good way now we have exited the settings app and we're going to come back to the eda scan this is all stuff I need to show you like how the app will look like before I can show you any of these. Then again, same things apply for here, except for clocks. So as you can see, you can actually store up to five clocks on your watch. So we have a bunch of clock faces in the Fitbit app, which you can download. So let's say I want to select this one and it shows that. And then now we have our music subscription, Spotify, Pandora, um, Deezer, and then we have got maps. So maps will again require us to have our phone synced up. And then, yes, in fact, you can actually game on this. So let's, there's a basketball game on this. Basic, right? So if you want to exit the app, again, swipe out of it. Then we got, if you want to read some news, it's New York Times. It's gonna check for any stories. And it's gonna update the stories. It's basically like a downgraded version of the phone app. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys this really cool feature or the EDA scan, the health section of the app. So let's click on the EDA scan. The 
BDAs scan will check how stressed out you are. So all you have to do to do this is click on the quick scan. The watch is gonna use the metal bezels to like track your scanning. You're gonna put your palm on the watch for two minutes. So the I've done the test. I've put my palm on the watch for two minutes. So I, you can actually log it. So I'll just click on skip. Or if I'm the to reflect on it. And I'll show you. It'll talk about the results. So higher numbers reflect in like higher stress levels. So 18 is a bit on the high side, but that's okay. And then it shows you your your heart rate. You can edit this if you want. And then you click on done. And there, that's the EDA scan. Now let's talk about the ECG scan. The ECG scan is actually awaiting um, FDA approval, so it's not actually publicly available. And now let's jump into what the today is the health section of the watch. So um, first, um, we have our steps, how many steps that we've taken. It shows your detailed statistics, which you can actually get in the Fitbit app also, in much more detailed statistics. Shows you their average heart rate, how many calories you burned, how many floors you climbed, and how much distance you traveled. And then talks about the sleep, and then uh, talks about the hourly activity. As you can see, the, I've set up a goal for at least 250 steps per hour. So it constantly gives me like alerts, you know how I talked about earlier. It will say, hey, you have this many steps remaining to complete the goal. And you, you can log all these other additional stuff like your food, your nutrition, your water, your weight. So now let's talk about the exercise, what the watch is really good at. So the watch actually comes with the GPS built-in. You don't actually need your phone when you go for jogging or you're exercising. And a watch has a bunch of pre-built in like exercise, let's say uh, swimming, hiking, circuit training, running, walking, golfing, spinning, um, running on the treadmill. So you can do any of these. It's gonna log your workout. And then next, let's talk about our coach app. The coach app will actually teach you like running some exercise. So let's say, let's talk about the basic. Let's go for seven minute workout. So it's gonna show you what you have to do in the seven minute workout. Once you've seen that, let's click on the play button and the time has started. It's a 30 second interval and then jumping jacks and then we're gonna do something else next. So we're gonna click on stop, end the thing, and workout, yes. And it's gonna give you a workout summary. Click on done. So let's actually talk about some main features. So if you have a notification coming in and you missed it, you could actually swipe down from the top and then you can see all the notifications you missed. Once you've done that, you can swipe again out. If you swipe up from the bottom, you get your, at a glance, your day. Let's swipe out a bit, okay. And then now let's jump into the Fitbit app. All right, so we have the Fitbit app launch. You can either get this from the iOS store or the Android store. Good thing about the watch, you can actually use this with an iPhone or an Android device, unlike the Apple watch where you can only use it with an iPhone or an iPad. So we have the Fitbit Sense. So we're clicking the Fitbit Sense, we're gonna click on apps. So we have a bunch of apps that are already installed. So these are basically the my apps. We should update all these apps which need attention. So as I want to show you, I was talking about the clock face right here, right? This clock face, where you can actually get the clock faces from the store. So these are my faces. And then we have like the classical, the analog, everything recently added. So let's see, these are the free ones because some of them are paid, that's the sad part. Um, the ones that are given by Fitbit are free. So let's see, like this, it's syncing it, so it's installing it now that that has been installed. Boom, as you can see, it has been added to the watch. It wirelessly syncs, so that's what I really like about this watch. So, now that we've synced it, let's look at the weather. See, the weather automatically is populated now, and you can see the weather. Now we have our agenda, basically our calendar. So, it has anything that we have coming up. We don't actually have anything coming up this week on our calendar. And here we have our wallet. Basically, you, have, you can set this up if any locations or any banks are have Fitbit Pay, you can actually use your watch to pay there, like sort of like Apple Pay and Samsung Pay. And then we have your classical music subscriptions, Spotify, Pandora, Note, all of these subscriptions require you to have a premium account membership, otherwise it will not work. We have our maps, you can see where you are. Let's go back to the Fitbit app. You can download more apps, all you have to do is go to all apps and then see any apps which can wirelessly work. So we have our Starbucks, we have Uber, we have games, look at all these. We have Find My Phone. So I was I'm actually gonna show you where Find My Phone is. Suppose if my phone right here, 
Let's see if I can find that one. It's playing the sound right here. So yeah, let's stop that. And now you might be wondering why it's just showing like a code, like this message. Basically, it's asking you to pay because this is actually, this is not free. This clock face is not free. So I just want to change this real quick. So let's go back into the app. And go to clock faces. And let's just choose, let's choose something like this. My Fitbits are always free. All right, so we have downloaded this clock face onto my watch. So as you can see, it shows the sleep level the heart level steps i like i really like this clock face let's go back if i want to download more i could do that we have our music we have these three apps for three services for our music all these three require a premium subscription next we got our wallet so if you want to add like a credit card you can add face id to make it more secure if you're using an iphone then we have the device lock so every time like you remove you don't wear this watch and you put it back on your wrist it's gonna ask you for a password for the password once it verifies the pin it will let you in and then you can like change the settings disable it enable it change the pin and all that good stuff yeah this takes about a test sometimes okay we're in we can enable fitbit pay only like if you're paying something you have to like enter your password it's strongly recommend that you have it for all, everything you can change the pin or just remove it and then we have our, our reminders to move, I was showing you earlier. And then, yeah, that's basically the main stuff. Now let's talk about the accuracy of the Fitbit. So the, as you know, the Fitbit is a big potential. It can do a lot of these features, stress management, sleep tracking, like fitness tracking, heart rate tracking. Now let's talk about whether this is actually accurate and whether you should buy this watch. Like, cause if you're like a fitness freak, it, it's really good at some certain features such as um, like GPS tracking. It does that really good. I'll just play a graph on your screen right now. You can see like, I'm this is my route I've taken on a jog. As you can see, it's really accurate. Cut off the corners. So my end review or this product is that it's good, but it's nowhere near the where it should be for a premium price. You're paying $329. I wouldn't recommend this. Since this watch has so many sensors on it, it, the Fitbit can actually detect if you just go full out force and start running. You just leave your house and you decide to go running. The Fitbit will actually detect that you're actually doing an exercise specifically running and it will turn on that running exercise and it'll get, provide data later based on that running exercise that you did which is a really good feature like you, you can do it like hands free you don't need to have your phone with you all the time well that being said fitbit actually does not allow you to store music directly onto the watch you actually need to have a mobile device on you so you can wirelessly play it via bluetooth which is the downside about this product because it basically negates the point of just not having a phone for and having a hands-free device because it has a gps built in but fitbit will actually provide a firmware update where you will be able to like download music and store it directly without actually having to use these premium subscriptions here and now we're gonna i'm gonna talk about one last thing and that is the syncing so as i said this that's the very crucial feature about this thing to work the watch and the phone have to be constantly be syncing otherwise mostly none of the features will work on that phone or on the fitbit watch so to make sure that your app is constantly syncing all you need to make sure to do is that you have bluetooth turned on on your phone and on your watch and they're connected to each other via bluetooth and then make sure that the fitbit app is actually open in the background like you can like close it and open up another application but you want to make sure that you don't slice it out or like quit the app like an iphone or ios model you can quit the app by slicing it out you don't want to do that otherwise it will not sync manually and then eventually like the features will not work because like, it has to be constantly syncing with the app and as you see the last thing was 8 pm just now because the app is open so it's easily able to sync if it's not able to sync at first or certain period of time like like couple of days it will no longer register the fitbit sense and it will say no location found you have to like repair it so it's really, really pathetic because the way the repairing process works if i i didn't like talk about this much in the beginning because it's very spell self-explanatory because it shows you how to do it in the fitbit app but it's really painful because what you have to do is put the watch onto the charging area onto this magnetic thing place it there and the app will actually have to manually detect with it and then, but you actually have to like keep it nearby on the charging brick or the wire and then you have to enter the code which you did well, find on the watch on your app and then it'll take a couple more minutes and then it will pair up and then 
so yeah that's why it's really pathetic if you make sure to keep the app running otherwise it, it will no longer be synced and none of the features will work and you have to do this tiresome process but yeah other than that the watch is really good and i recommend it and yeah do anticipate of having a future video really soon about what my reviews are on this fitbit watch and whether you should get it or not and it's a really good contender for smart watches out there with the samsung watch the apple watch series se and the series 6 and yeah and it's best in the smartwatch industry or market for health tracking well there you have it guys now you know how to set up install this fitbit sense and the top features of it and as i stated do expect a review video just give me about a week or so and i'm going to show you guys what i think about this my two cents on this watch and i'm going to say should you buy this watch is it worth the 329 dollars or should you go for a different watch like the apple watch series 6 series se for 399 dollars or some other type of smartwatch such as the garmin or the samsung smartwatch so yeah so do expect a review video on that and if this video helped you remember to like this video subscribe to my channel for more tutorial text tips out there and i'll see you guys soon in my next video make sure to check out my previous videos which are linked on screen as they're extremely helpful you can either check this one out right here or this one right here and that's it for this video stay safe guys and happy new year bye bye